Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Everybody. Welcome to Avon, Ohio. We are just outside of Cleveland. Kayla's sitting in the car here where the AC is nice and cold and I'm out here in the nice heat wave. Here ready to go check out the summer goodies at this beautiful wonderful store that we love so much. They are so cool. If you haven't seen the video that I put together from the Boardman Meyer, go check that one out. It was a full store tour anyway and it was very nice and this one is very similar inside. So we're not going to do a store tour, we're just going to look at the summer goodies that they have here because, I mean, it is now officially the first week of June. It's hot as heck, and it's the favorite, it's my favorite time of the year. So let's go in there where the air conditioning is ice cold, and we can go look at the goodies that they have in there while we also do some shopping for ourselves. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. They have some pretty good patriotic cookies here. Loft House. These are pretty good, but they're very sugary. If you're not a big fan of the frosted sugar, these aren't for you. Some people do complain about them, but I think they're very good. Very, very good. And then over here we have gifts for Father's Day. Well, well, they're gift bags. And then you've got plenty of cards. Graduation cards, too. Oh, look at this. I'm so glad you're in my life. Be a nice one to get Kayla. <laughs> oh, how about this one? Yeah, she doesn't know that, but I'm going to surprise her with that. <laughs> over here is where they have Father's Day cards, so that's cool. We got more over here. Birthday cards. Okay, so nice little selection of greeting cards here. But that's not what we came here to look at. We came here to look at summer goodies, which are down that way. Start off here with some pretty cool-looking beach towels. I like the ones with the pineapples on them and the flip-flops. Got your sunscreen. You're going to need that, because if you've watched any of my uh, videos from rail fanning lately, I got burnt. <laughs> More sunscreen on this side, so nothing that we need to see here. But here are some nice flowers. Great for uh, just general decorating, or if you want to put them on uh, cemetery graves, or even just yard decorating. This is gr good for that. Yeah, like you would put these on, uh, on a grave at a cemetery, which is nice. Patriotic stuff. We'll get into that in just a moment, but here we go. We're gonna look at the other side too. More flags. Fourth of July is coming up. Memorial Day just passed. Oh boy, here we go. I'm in trouble here. This is where I get in trouble. All the fireworks here. However, if you notice, these are sparklers and smoke bombs. No, I go get the good stuff. The stuff that goes up in the air and goes boom. <laughs> However, if I were to get enough of these sparklers and tape them all up together with electrical tape or so, tape them all up and then put them in a dryer and light one and run like hell, I can make that dryer explode. It's called a sparkler bomb and just look up sparkler bombs on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, so on this end cat, we have a lot of cool little novelty gifts like little headbands, the silly hats. I like the cowboy hat. That one's pretty neat, actually. Nice little headbands. I can see my aunt buying a lot of this stuff. Gift bags. I like these. I've bought these in the past, and I've had these on uh, our patio, and they end up looking really nice, but the sun fades them out pretty quickly. Sorry, Kayla scared the crap out of me. Right as I clicked the camera off, she went boo, like right behind me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here we are looking at more patriotic goodies. She didn't even see this in my hand. <laughs> I like the necklaces. I mean, we all have that stuff on 4th of July. It's a lot of fun. The paper lanterns look pretty neat, honestly, for four bucks. And the garland does too. I like the table covers. Oh, this would be nice for five bucks. And that's fabric. That ain't plastic. That's actual fabric, like felt or so. Pretty nice. I always like these little table, ta I can't talk, tabletop decor. I like the firecracker ones. The stars are pretty neat though too. I might get one and put it on our table. What the heck? It's $3. On second thought, I'm going to put weight on that because I think I have some at home that I didn't even put up from last year. So I need to check what I have first. But I like the towels, but I need to stay away from those because I have as many towels as I do uh, doormats. Oh, look at this one, though. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I am going to buy those ones. Those are so cool. And look at these ones in the rocket. i got to see what Kayla thinks. Those are cool. I like the table covers, too, and the little placemat, but those are cool. i got to see what she thinks. I am buying a set. 
So we were indecisive, so we're going with both. What the heck? <laughs> All right, back on this side, we have some nice tabletop and window decor. You could even put them on bookcases or whatever you like. You do whatever you like. Neat little patriotic cups. I like the popsicle makers. You can make your own popsicles. That's pretty neat. Nice mugs. You need storage containers for food. I like the large utility tote for a picnic. Making jello shots. There you go. Ice cubes. Pretty cool little patriotic things oh, for beer pong. You know it. And I like the little picnic sets too. And that's pretty neat. I like it. Look at the little patriotic outfits they have for toddlers. That's amazing. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Something for everybody. And I know they have more in the women's and men's department of clothing too. Speaking of which, they have swimsuits here and pretty good looking flip-flops. I actually like these. I just don't care for this style though. I like these this style better, but I just bought a new pair of flip-flops from Adidas and I like them. Little bibs and little flip-flops. They got dresses and shorts. They got some pretty look good looking shirts too if you're into the patriotic stuff. Got camping stuff, camping chairs, coolers, ice packs, little chairs here. Great for rail fanning, but I have a lot of camping chairs. I don't need any of that stuff. More shirts and shorts. USA. Cool stuff. More little outfits for the little ones. I know I'm not going through everything, but if I did, I'd be here forever. So that, that's what makes you got to come out to Meyer. If you live near one, you got to come by Meyer. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> yeah, come out to Meyer and check them out for yourselves if you're near one. And if you're not, I do apologize. I mean, we're not exactly close either. We're an hour away, so. But. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth the trip. If you're ever going into a city or mm -hmm. through a city that has a Meyer, go to it. Go to it for sure. All right, over here we're looking at patio stuff. They have quite the selection of patio gear this year. I mean, they do every year though. Good patio chairs. Prices are very comparable to other places. Maybe a tick higher, but you know what? I would rather support Meyer than Walmart. I like these outdoor pillows. What's this one with the drinks on it? Happy hour. <laughs> this is how we roll. That would be great for my aunt and uncle's camp. <laughs> that one's nice. And then, yeah, they have all kinds of patio furniture. They have the cushions here for patio furniture. Umbrellas, chairs. I like the... Uh, the bird baths that they have and little bird houses as well. Then down here is all gardening stuff on my left and on the right are solar lights. And I know what people think sometimes they think, oh, they're junk, they're garbage, but I like them. These are the better ones than the dollar store ones, obviously. And I mean, you know, everybody has their personal taste. You either like them or you don't. That's okay. It's your preference. I like them. And if I want to spend my money on it, I'll be happy to do so. And if you don't like spending money on them, don't do it. Spend it on something you like. That's okay. I just wish I had a path to put these on. <laughs> Nothing really interesting in this aisle. You just have like fertilizer, Roundup, and you have pesticides. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip that aisle, but we're still in the garden section. Here are tiki torches and grilling goodies. Lots of grilling goodies and grass seed. Again, nothing that's really interesting because you can see that kind of stuff at any store. And if you do want to watch a good video on any grilling goodies, especially for Blackstone users, check out Nate's video that he put together. I'll uh, put the little link up in the corner of the screen right now. Check that out for Blackstone goodies. He found quite a good selection and he found alternatives to Blackstone brand, which work just as well. And we'll go check out the garden center in just a moment. But before we do that, let's wrap up in here looking up looking at all the goodies in here, including the decorative lights. I love lights. I took after my aunt when I uh, was born. <laughs> uh, I like the little solar things here too with the, with the hummingbird and it looks like a cardinal. Color changing too on the clear one. Bird feeders again. I like the cardinal bird feeder. That windmill's neat too. And it's solar powered. That's neat too. I didn't realize that. We have wind spinners, windmills, or pinwheels rather, and other yard art and wind art. Down here we have premium pool noodles. I've never seen noodles quite like these. They're like full of like styrofoam, but apparently they work. 
Never seen ones like that though, called Big Joe. Here's the traditional ones that I'm used to. And what the heck? Oh, that one's weird. It's like rubbery. <laughs> Pole noodle. I've never, that is weird. <laughs> we have plenty of pole floats over here. I like the flamingo. And this one's neat. You can put your drink right on there. Water, whatever you want. I like the pineapple too. Flamingos, unicorns. Look at how luxurious he says. And you know, I heard somebody say this at another store. Take a look at the picture. They make these things look so much larger than they really are, but then when you get on it, they're they're kind of tiny. Even though it has the deflated size there, but when it's inflated, they're not as big as they say, or as they look. Those ones are neat though, those ones down there. Now those are the expensive ones, but those are the ones that can take a beating though. Recliner lounge, man, what I would do to go out on Lake Erie right now with one of those. And at this corner we have more lights. I like the colorful lights here. They have pride stuff and books. They have all kinds of stuff actually behind me too. The shirts here. So neat little selection there. Not a whole lot, but they have a little bit. They have coolers here. Oh, and they got ladder ball. I love ladder ball. That's one where you have a ball. It, like it's They have these poles that you see here, and they have balls attached to a string, and you have to throw it and kind of wrap it around it, and each one is worth different points. I know it's kind of off camera there, but you get, like, so many points to win. It's fun. Look at the big checkers set, too. Wow. Yard checkers <laughs> and tic tac toe. We got balloons and water balloons and bubbles and chalk. <laughs> they also have what you need for the pool besides pool floats and goggles. They have more water balloons and bubbles. They have uh, the sanitation kits for pools as well, like chlorine, tablets, everything you need to keep a pool clean. Look at this little thing. <laughs> That's silly. But yeah, they have whatever you need here for swimming, whether it's at a pool or at a lake or in back in a creek, frisbees. And they have a little bit of everything here. Summer goodies, all beach stuff here too for sand sculpting, just having fun. Yeah, here's what you need to clean out your poles here. They're playing Foo Fighters in the background. That's freaking awesome. But if I let you listen to it, I'll get a copyright claim. Oh, look at this, the giant football bowling set. That's cool chuck a football at the pins and watch them blow up <laughs> that would be awesome and over here look at the gorilla sprinkler that's different i never seen something like that before that's neat they even have the poles here little poles anyway and for the babies cool all right now you've seen the goodies inside of sort let's go check out the garden section real quick and just glance around briefly and see what they have the garden center love it up oh, stay away from the doormats wally you can do it Stay away. <laughs> Out here. Want to do any planting? They have quite a selection of pots and plants. I actually need to grab one. <laughs> but they have a big selection out here. Not bad. I like the thermometers. Let's see how hot it is right now. It's even at 8 o'clock in the evening. It's almost 85 degrees. Yeah, it's still pretty warm. Lots of plants and goodies out here. A lot of decorative plants too. I like these flowers here. Very colorful flowers. I like these ones here a lot. Hmm. Be worth getting to put on our porch. Patio, porch, I can't talk. <laughs> Even these ones here, like the colors, very nice. Oh, look at these ones. I like those. Hmm. These flowers aren't bad looking either. I like these ones. I like the colors. And then snowballs. We've had those before. You can never really get them to turn blue very well. I know people have said you have to put pennies in the soil to make them bluer. We tried that. It kind of worked. <laughs> then they got vegetables over here to grow. Look, this one's already starting to get some tomatoes. Look at the teeny tiny tomatoes. <laughs> these are neat. I like these. 
the little peacocks, flamingos, and then they got a couple bigger flamingos over here. <laughs> I'm not going to walk out here because I have things in my hand, but they even have more flowers out here that you can buy. They have plenty to look at. And a stop sign. <laughs> More flowers all around. I like the little colors. I like the orange ones and the purple ones here too. Very nice. Look at the colors on these ones too. Wow. Those and these. Oh, look at the little windmill, the little wind spinners. These are so cool. Don't do it, Wally. Don't do it. I love that blue and green one though. Oh man. And these flowers are good looking too. Look at the little sunflower looking flowers. Uh, those are neat. <laughs> Back inside where the AC is really cold, you got drawstring backpacks and other goodies for the beach bags to put your sunblock in. They have outdoor blankets. This is good for anything, not just a beach, but at a park, a pool, a lake, whichever. And then they got more beach towels to go with that. If you're going to be swimming, just don't forget the sunscreen. Oh boy. Home is where you park it. Now we were just talking about things we think our my aunt and uncle would like. That is awesome i know she would love that. she would love that that one's cool so is the adventure one underneath lastly we'll look at these big beach towels man these are oversized i like the decorations oh look at this one the michigan one that's where meyer comes from so it makes sense even though we're in cleveland ohio well we're actually we're west of cleveland but cool well, look at this one <laughs> it's a tourney let's get cozy a calico or a torty. <laughs> Could be either or. Or yep. Both. More bath towels there. Hey Aunt Barb, if you're watching this video. That is right up her alley. Look at all the beer you could fit in there. <laughs> Chips and hot dogs and I like the fish one too, but yeah, you're oh right. My goodness, I she, get she, that for her. She'd probably like the flamingos one too. Yeah. <laughs> and to my friend Kat who loves flamingos, you should come here and get one. Mm-hmm. You should totally come here and get one. Yeah, on your way back up from Florida, stop by Meyer, which is like completely out of the way of where you're going. I know. Oh, well. They even have summer thing Yankee candles here, too. That's cool. They have a whole end cap dedicated to it here. I want to find my candle. Mm-hmm. So whatever you like, beach walk. And then they have, look at these towels here. I need to stop getting towels, though. I like the, I like with the sloth up there. I know I'm not drinking soda, but I saw Pib, and there's there it is in a 12-pack. We're going to just go ahead and grab one of these little bad boys. You can enjoy a soda every now and then, just not all the time. Yes, sir. Anytime I go out to Ohio and find Pib, it's coming home, absolutely. Hi, cutie. Hi, handsome. <laughs> yeah, so, Pib, that's right. Pib, that's right. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> They have all kinds of sweet desserts here. The little cupcakes, these are pretty good. I've had these before. They have little brownie bites which just melt in your mouth. Those are so good. I like the patriotic cake roll too. So they have a little bit of everything, more of those cookies I was telling you about. And look at this variety pack here, the summer pack. That looks so good, but I need to stay away from that. Oh, Rice Krispie treats. I love that. Do I dare put them in the cart? I think I do. Yep. <laughs> Alright everybody, well that's going to wrap up our trip here from Meyer. Kayla looking good even though she doesn't feel like being on camera. She she looks Aww. amazing. Aw, thank you. You always do. I'm well, it's because I'm drenched. I'm drenched in sweat it because hot. it's hot. It is very warm. I love that they have a new Slim Chickens that they uh, are building out here. Uh, Slim Chickens, that's your thing. You know yeah, about that place. Uh, Slim Chickens, I don't know if it originated in Texas or not, but when I lived in Texas, uh, one opened up in my neighborhood and everybody fell in love with it. It's basically, um, it's basically a place, a uh, chicken place. They have a bunch of different sauces you can choose for your chicken to mm -hmm. dip it in or have it tossed in. and. It's honestly so much better than like Popeyes or any other place. Not trying to cut or trying to say anything bad. Bojangles is still the best. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to like say anything bad about the other places, but Bojangles is good. Some chickens is good. And I'm happy to hear that they expanded into like Ohio and stuff like that because now they don't live in the South anymore. It's cool to have those. It's nice to places. have one of their chains mm -hmm. up here. You know what I wish we had up here, though, besides Bojangles, which I know Columbus is getting. You know the other one that I like that you introduced me to? Uh, Taco... 
no, no, it's no, a chicken no, no. place in Texas. Golden chicken. Golden chicken. Well, not them that I was thinking, chicken but chicken e chicken, -y. chicken, -y. <laughs> chicken <laughs> Express. I love it. Their logo is so cool, especially when you see their trucks going along the highways with it's the chicken flying. flying chicken. And he got the, the thing over his eyes there, and he's just floating oh, yeah. along the trailer. Here's a picture of one here, for example. And it's really cool. So. Um, soon we'll be seeing that again because we're going to Texas very soon. I cannot wait. I'm very excited to go to Texas. Hopefully we're just a couple of weeks away from going to Texas, but yeah. we'll see as according to our schedules with work yeah. and if we can get the time off. I know I can, but yeah, with her job. With, with me, so. I mean, we should because we, we're going to have the coverage then because my work right now, mm -hmm. we're just kind of, we're kind of short staff, but that's going to change. And I'm really looking forward to going to Texas, me see too. our friends, see my family hug my little brother again and annoy him you know <laughs> go back to the Corsicana Texas Kmart and redo the drone footage that I corrupted last summer yeah um, redo that that would be nice and uh, maybe see your cousins and yeah. brothers and so yeah. anyway <laughs> more on that later but anyway I hope you enjoyed this tour of the summer goodies here at Meyer. super clean on the inside too very not clean. that Meyer has ever been dirty but They've always been really good. Even, even at a couple of <laughs> oh, bless me. you, even at a couple of the locations that we've been to and that I've been to before Kayla and I were together, I've been to a couple in areas that weren't the best areas, like a couple in Cincinnati and even a couple around Columbus, which may be the reason why one or two of them have closed up and moved elsewhere. But I, I'm not ratting on any place. But my point was, even in sketchy type of areas, they've been pretty good. Yeah. So, they I mean, keep it good, so. I mean, I'll put it to you this way. I I would choose, I think everybody would agree, I would choose Meyer over Walmart any day. Because, you know, Absolutely. I I don't dread going into Meyer to go grocery shopping. But if I have to go to Walmart, I'm like, oh, geez, do I really have to go to Walmart to get yeah. it, really? So I try to avoid Walmart at all costs at home. Like, if I need to get something like cat food or something small... I just go to the dollar store, like Family Dollar, Dollar General. Even though I might pay yeah. a few cents more there than I would at Walmart, I usually get what I want at Dollar General. Like, I'll get the good Purina one, the good naturals, or yeah. the, the, the better cat food anyway. So, And I don't have to walk through half the store to get to it and wait in line for an hour. But no, Meyer, uh, they're very clean here. They have a lot of self-checkouts that are open. And even if you have to go to a regular cashier, they're pretty quick with uh, everything. And... They're good people. Meyer, you guys have a great store, a great company, and man, come to Pittsburgh. Youngstown's pretty good, but come to Pittsburgh still. Yeah, come to Pittsburgh. <laughs> I mean, BJ's Wholesale is coming to Pittsburgh. Why can't you guys? If BJ can do it, why can't you? Yeah. I mean, hell, I'll go to Youngstown, well, Boardman, technically, to go to Meyer, and that's fine, because that's only a little over an hour away. So that's all right. At least you're that close to us now. Yeah. So. All right, let's get home before um, we got some cheese and stuff. And I don't want my cheese for my sandwich for work to melt because I'd be really sad. That's true. All right, yeah, we're going to hit the road. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you know the whole drill. And with that said, everybody, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Meyerlicious day. That took me a second. Though. Yeah, I know. It's a mouthful. And stay cool out there. Thank you, Meyer, for having a nice little food court open where you can enjoy a nice cold beverage. very very cold and good it's cherry coke by the way it's because funny. they had a coca-cola freestyle machine let's just let's just point out the fact that you said i'm not going to drink any more cokes when you found the pibs i know but now you've got one hey it's okay this is just one this is my cheat day because during the week i won't drink any even though i got that pib that's for once in a blue moon that 12 pack will last a long time so because i am trying to watch my weight so all right guys take, take care see you awesome have my lunch day bye bye see you later bye Bye. 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 <laughs> I think they heard you the first time. Just kidding. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>